Welcome. Today, we'll analyze a trust system and determine the forces in members GF, GD, and CD, as well as whether these members are in tension or compression. Let's start by examining our truss. The truss spans eight meters horizontally, with members spaced every two meters. It has a height of three meters at its peak. There are three vertical loads, 10 kilonewtons, 25 kilonewtons, and 15 kilonewtons applied at points B, C, and D respectively. First, let's calculate the reaction forces. Taking moments about point A, we can write that the sum of moments equals zero. This gives us 10 kilonewtons times two meters, plus 25 kilonewtons times four meters, plus 15 kilonewtons times six meters, minus the reaction force at E times eight meters equals zero. Solving for Fe, we get 26.25 kilonewtons. Now, let's analyze joint D. Here we have three forces, the known load of 15 kilonewtons down, the force in member GD, and the force in member CD. The angle phi is found using inverse tangent of three over two, which gives us 56.3 degrees. Using vertical force equilibrium at joint D, we find that the force in member GD is 18 kilonewtons in compression. Then using horizontal equilibrium, we determine that the force in member CD is 10 kilonewtons in tension. Let's summarize our results. Member GF has a force of 18 kilonewtons in tension. Member GD has 18 kilonewtons in compression and member CD has 10 kilonewtons in tension, 